Google Ads results are not where you want them to be, then most likely your e-commerce brand is reaching the wrong audience. And in this video, I want to help you get rid of this problem forever by showing you how you even know if audience targeting is the main issue for your Google Ads account, how to fix it if it actually is, and then how to scale long term using this approach right here. But before we get into any of the nitty gritty details, let's understand how this problem even arises and how how you know if it's happening for your own e-commerce brand. Now, what most e-commerce brands do is within performance max campaigns or search campaigns or even demand gen campaigns and YouTube campaigns, they go out and they try to go overboard by providing as many things as these campaigns require. I mean, you may have done this yourself where within a performance max campaign, you have a bunch of assets added in just because Google wants you to add those things in. While it's a good thing to go above and beyond to try to provide as much necessary information as possible to the Google Ads algorithm, sometimes this can actually counteract and do the opposite of what you want it to do. Here's what I mean. If your assets themselves uh -huh. are not already proven, then most likely Google's algorithm is not going to be able to connect the dots between finding the right audience and showing all these things to the right audience, especially if you have provided a bunch of cold traffic audience signals or if you have provided a bunch of search themes. In addition, if you have uh -huh. improper data coming in or if you have data which is not really that accurate i mean maybe it's 60 percent or 70 percent accurate but sometimes you really can't tell if the conversion tracking is properly set up that's a very big problem and one of the major reasons why your audience uh -huh. is not the ideal audience anytime conversion tracking is off the data points that are coming in they're leaking out of the funnel think of it like a bucket with a bunch of holes in it no matter how much water you put in that bucket in this case no matter how much ad spend you do within your google ads account it's going to keep leaking out of those holes it's not going to be able to get stored within the bucket to then make that bucket full but one of the main reasons why audience targeting becomes a big issue is because there's a lot of brands out there which still rely on manual bidding i mean there's not a wrong strategy which in standard shopping campaigns or just manual bidding campaigns but it is a wrong strategy when you go in and when you randomly get some random bids which are not proven based on real data it needs to be based on real data and if it's not happening then that's when the audience targeting gets messed up the brand just starts going after the wrong type of audience and this is what we see for a lot of brands i audit regularly under my google ads agency as well which by the way if you run a brand doing a million dollars a year and you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand with google ads to the very next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see essentially how we can work together and make that happen but now let's start to understand how you even know if audience targeting is one of the major issues that your brand is facing right now first and foremost the biggest giving signs of this is your average cost per link click is through the roof i mean this brand we just audited it recently it has an average cost per link click of ten dollars and 82 cents this is an absolutely insane number and there's no way that this brand is targeting the right audience because if the right audience for this brand for this niche is a ten dollar average cost per link click they might as well not use google ads they might as well use facebook or something else but in this case it is because is targeting the wrong audience and that's because they had improper conversion tracking and there's no sort of product feed approach or product feed even in place but the second biggest sign that you're targeting the wrong audience or your brand is not going after the right audience is you're getting a lot of traffic on your brand maybe it's low cpcs but and it's a lot of traffic but very low conversion rates or just very low buyers in general this is a direct indicator that your ads are targeting window shoppers and this just uh -huh, is going uh -huh. to lead to a low conversion rate so this is one of the biggest signs as well third biggest sign is that there's a, essentially a non-existing search impression share now if we look right here for this brand with the ten dollar average cpcs their search impression share is less than 10 percent same thing with click share in this case it's less than 10 percent if your numbers are very low like these for search impression share and click share most likely the audience you're targeting is not the ideal audience you're not bidding high enough or just your overall product feed and foundation it's too weak to get a significant portion of this search impression share and this click share but this now 
brings us to the main solution side of things. How do you resolve this issue? How do you continue growing? Well, the first biggest solution, which I've seen work time and time again, is to transition your strategy to more of a product feed based approach. Here's what I mean. If you have a performance max campaign, or if you have just a lot of search campaigns, demand gen campaigns, which are based around individual assets. So you have a performance max campaign with a bunch of images logos videos headlines etc you want to a b test that against a product feed only approach meaning no images for the performance max no assets none of that stuff only the products and the product feed itself and this is going to force the algorithm to go after your products only and because your products have actual seo work to them because hopefully you have watched my other youtube videos and you have done work on your product titles with proper seo techniques you have watched my description writing video on how to have the perfect description for google ads so on and so forth and your product feed is so good it's so stellar that now google can use this data from the product feed and not only get you sales for your product but now store that data in the back end to find more sales and can get more sales via the other campaigns app. Second biggest solution is to start introducing smart bidding based campaigns. Because again, if you're just running random standard shopping campaigns or just search campaigns or any other campaigns app with manual bidding and your bids are guesses, that's going to lead to a very bad type of audience. It's going to be low quality and you're not going to be able to really utilize Google ads full. If you have a strong foundation in place, which I highly recommend you get a strong foundation first before using smart bidding then this is going to be basically what turns your account around and starts getting you higher quality traffic. But this brings me to the third most important thing, which is make your foundation so strong that Google's algorithm has no choice but to send you the highest quality of traffic possible. And this will only happen when it thinks that your brand is worthy of this traffic. Proper SEO techniques for proper product images, Google Merchant Center programs, etc. But fourth thing is, if you want to still use performance mass campaigns or any other campaign type, essentially, start using audience signals or search themes of retargeting audiences and use them on an observation basis only insert a lot of these retargeting audiences people who visited the website but didn't purchase anything people who visited the cart page checkout page etc so on and so forth add as many hot and warm traffic audiences as possible on an observation basis in the back end of these campaigns and then watch the magic because now Google's going to be able to use actual data from your back end to find the ideal audience. And this is where Google's algorithm will be able to now pinpoint exactly what the right audience is. And you can also add audiences and customer match lists within the tools and settings section. This is something your team or your media buyer should be doing. But now that you have done all these things or one of these things, hopefully things are turning around because now it comes to scaling. How do you scale using this approach? Because if you just go aggressive scaling, increasing budgets, rapidly increasing or decreasing restrictions rapidly then it's going to go back to level one where you're just going to start getting a bunch of bad traffic because as you scale think of it like a fishing net if you're scaling up your fishing net is getting bigger and bigger that means you're going to probably start getting the trash from the ocean within this fishing net so to minimize getting that trash to minimize getting any bad items within your fishing net and to rather keep it high quality fish you need to ensure you're increasing the size of the fishing net meaning increasing budgets on a set schedule maybe every five days seven days 14 days but in addition while you're doing that you're improving the fishing net itself meaning the back end via the google merchant center the product feed etc you're using this new data that's coming in which hopefully at this point is good data and you're making everything better so that the entire funnel improves as you scale up this is the only way to continue getting high quality traffic while you scale up your budget with that being said if you run a brand doing a million dollars a year and you want to scale to the very next level with google ads go on to my website at theoralmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see essentially how we can work together and make that happen but check out this video right here on my newest tips and tricks on how to scale with google ads the right way and what you should know about scaling with google in 2024 and onwards